What's up, everybody? This is Steve K here with you all with another video. Video every day in October. And this is video number five. And I know I should be up to at least a bunch, but I've just been struggling a little bit to think of, like, what to do for a video because some of them I just can't really think of, like, what to do. Like a gameplay or whatever, and we lost something, somebody here. Hang on a sec. We lost Robo. Yeah. Okay, well, it's okay. We lost uh, one of them. That's all right. Uh, anyway, now this is going to be a video of my music cassette collection because you know I am a fan of music and stuff. And I've got like a bunch of them, as you can see. I have a bunch in here that have the cases and stuff, a little bit more over here, and a bunch without the cases. I didn't really take good care of these in the 90s, as you know, they were pretty tough to take care of. Just because I was a kid that pretty much messed around with a lot of stuff and didn't take good care of stuff. But I also have some more tapes as well, but excluding them because they're not really mine or, or my pop. Like, he listened to them or he knows more of them people than me, you know. These are just ones that I basically listen to. And I am joined by, well, it was three, but now it's two now. We've got Matt123. And a puzzle ninety. I didn't think he was there. <laughs> Any, anyway, now we're gonna start with the ones that I have in the case here. Sec. All right. Um, now for the, all the cassettes that I have, these are the ones that are featured in here with the case and then without the case. We'll start with the ones that I have first with the case. <clears throat> now some of these may not be in ABC order, but just, just, <clears throat> all I can, just deal with it, you know. First one I have <clears throat> is ACDC, Back in Black, including some pretty good songs on here, which are, of course, Hell's Bells and Hell's got a few others as well uh shoot the thrill and inside too you got back in black and you shook me all night long great song by this group i am a fan of them as they sing pretty good songs uh-huh wait a sec okay just uh reading some stuff on here that's all it is okay Anyway, now, as for the uh, tape as well, it's right here, and made by uh, Atlantic Records as well, good uh, name as well, and good album. Next one we have, actually we're going to, actually not that one, I was going to show the other one. Uh, this one I have right here is ACDC, it's another one, it's Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, another good album as well, made by Atlantic Records. Featuring the first song, Dirty Deeds, Done Dirt Cheap, Big Balls, yeah, and a couple others as well, don't really know that much about them. Like I said, I, I, am, a, I am a fan of them as well. Oh, there's Putnam. Yeah, just don't really know uh, a few of them on there, but I am a fan of them, like, uh, like Thunderstruck, Highway to Hell, uh, a few others as well, like, uh... Uh, I just don't have a few of them like the, and I do have the one that has TNT from High Voltage, which is another good one. Uh, actually, I should have shown this one first, but like I said, these won't be in ABC order, some of them. Next one I have is Aerosmith, the greatest hits of Aerosmith, featuring Dream On, Same Old Song and Dance, Sweet Emotion, and Walk This Way, excluding Dude Looks Like a Lady for some reason. I don't know why, but I think it's a uh, pretty good as well. This is um, it's made by Columbia Stereo Cassette or whatever it is, and I do like Aerosmith. Never seen them before, but I know one of my friends has, and yeah, they're good to listen to. They really are. Next, we have. The soundtrack from the 1989 Batman movie, directed by Tim Burton. Love the movie. I have it. Oh, he's there. Okay. 
Uh, anyway, the movie is very good. I have it on Blu-ray and VHS, and the soundtrack is, is really good as well. Featuring just the stuff on the front, the future, electric chair, the rest of the stuff. And then, of course, on the side, too, Scandalous and Bat Dance. Yeah, sung by Prince. Very uh, good. Very good stuff. Made by Warner Brothers dance. Records. Bat Dance. <laughs> yep. Uh, next one we have is... I have the soundtrack to The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. Got, got this at a flea market, and this is featuring a bunch of songs on here, of course, featuring A Hard Day's Night, Tell Me Why, I'll Cry Instead, I Should Have Known Better, an instrumental version, I'm Happy Just to Dance With You, and I Love Her, another instrumental version, then I Should Have Known Better on the rest of the side, and also features Ringo's theme, This Boy, an instrumental version, and A Hard Day's Night instrumental as well. I paid about 10 bucks for this, but hey, it's the Beatles, and you're going to at least pay that much because they're the best. That's why. It's worth it. Mm -hmm. Made by Capitol Records, of course. Now, I do have another one, but it doesn't have a case with it, but we'll get to it in a sec. We're just going to go through ones that I have with the case. We're going to move on to the next one, and it is the Beach Boys, the best of the Beach Boys, Volume 1. Mm. Made by Capitol Records as well, and nice. featuring... All five original members. Unfortunately, a few of them have passed on. Carl and Denny Wilson. And, uh, Carl, um, excuse me, Brian Wilson, who does his like, solo work as well. And Mike Love, the lead singer, who's still with him. And you got Fun, 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 The Warmth of the Sun, Louie Louie, a version of theirs they do, I guess. Uh, the King's Men, excuse me. Uh, the rest of them I don't know. Then we have Surfing USA, Catch a Wave. Surfer Girl, Little Deuce Coop, In My Room, and Little Honda, but I never listened to that. That is a uh, good listen to. And then we got The Best of the Beach Boys, Volume 2. Hang on. I thought my there was something wrong with my headset. Can everybody hear me? Yep. Okay. Making sure. All right. The Best of the Beach Boys, Volume 2, featuring Barbara Ann, When I Grow Up, To Be a Man, uh, Don't Worry Baby, Surf and Safari, California Girls, Help Me Rhonda, and I Get Around. All good songs. And, take 12. There you go. Uh, let's, what should I do now? Uh, where's the other one I was going to show? I, I, I had another one I was going to show here, but I don't know. Yeah, obviously. Oh, here it is. It, it was in the other side. Here I have Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. Probably one of the most successful albums Billy Idol made in the 1980s. Which is, of course, with the songs Rebel Yell, Daytime Drama, which I think is pretty good, Eyes Without a Face, and Side 2, Flesh for Fantasy, Catch My Fall, and the rest of them, never heard of. Pretty good artist as well. Um... He's made other ones as well. I have a couple of those on CD, but you'll see. And that's it for that. Um, well, let's just do this one. It's because this one is an awesome one. And I know Putnam has this. Bobby Brown, Don't Be Cruel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one of the most successful albums from Bobby Brown, who also did a few other good songs as well. And, of course, you got... The Cruel Prelude, Prelude, excuse me, the introduction. Then you got Don't Be Cruel, My Prerogative, Roni, Rock Step With You. <laughs> and Side 2, Every Little Step, another great song. And I'll Be Good To You, which is pretty good. And the rest of them haven't really listened to that much. But it's very good. It really is. And made by uh, MCA Records. Yeah, very good. Listen to it. And here we have some Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. Of course, of course, featuring You Give Love a Bad Name, Living on a Prayer, and Wanted Dead or Alive. Very good stuff. Can't go wrong with Bon Jovi. Made by Mercury. It says. Um, we also have, in here, we also have Timepiece is the best of Eric Clapton. I know 
Um, you may be wondering why I do have this, but I do like him because I like uh, uh, I Shot Sheriff and Layla. But don't get me wrong, I like this song the most, Cocaine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just like the way it is. Like he says, if you want to hang out, you got to take her out, Cocaine. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Or so, is uh, what it's made by. But hey, it's just... Yeah, there you go. Next, I have Barry White, all-time greatest hits. Mm -hmm. I mean, my grandfather was actually a fan of this guy. He likes his music, but the only ones I really care for are like uh, You're My First, My Last, My Everything, and Can't Get Enough of Your Love, Baby. And that's really it. I don't know if they're on here. But it's just something we have just like we listen to it because my granddad does like disco. And dance songs. Here we have Heart. The group Heart. Uh, I have no idea what is on this one. It's probably one of their earliest albums. It's. I have no idea what year it's from. It's just something we have. It's from 1985, I think, from Capitol Records. I don't know any of the songs on here, so I don't know exactly. Yeah. But here's another one of Heart, which is Rock This House Live. And this features a couple of good ones on here, like uh, Crazy On You, good song. Uh, Dreamboat Annie, I think, but it's kind of scribbling out a little bit. Can, can barely read it. But of course, everybody knows the popular song by them, Barracuda. And a few others. Barracuda. Exactly. <laughs> Here's one of my uh, pop's favorites that he listened to, and this is ABBA, or ABBA, but it's pronounced ABBA, I think, with the song Dancing. Yeah. With the song Dancing Queen as well, and uh, Mamma Mia, Take a Chance on Me, a few others, but I just pretty much like Dancing Queen, but I wasn't really a big, huge fan of them, but they are pretty good. ABBA, ABBA. <laughs> All right, next one. What is this? Uh, okay, this one's a little messed up, but I'll just show it. Heck of it. This is the Electric Light Orchestra (ELO) greatest hits. Not really no. so much on here. Just Evil Woman, but the only one I like is Don't Bring Me Down, which is not featured on here for some reason. But I don't know why. Here's a good one that I have. Led oh. Zeppelin, featuring Black Dog, uh, of course the best song they're probably known for, Stairway to Heaven, and Misty Mountain Hop. Yeah, this is like, uh, what year is it? I can't even read it. It's from, it's gotta be from the ass. The shit. No, it doesn't matter what year it's from, but it's, uh... It's a good band, too, you know, you can't really go wrong with them, as they're known for those songs, but Stairway to Heaven is probably the biggest one, but yeah. <clears throat> Next one I have is the Jay Giles Band, the best of Jay Giles, featuring uh, Love Stinks, uh, a song they played a whole lot on that TV show, America's Finest Home Videos, Freeze Frame, another good song, and Centerfold. But I always like freeze frames. I like the way it is, and I don't think they're on tour anymore this day. But they're pretty much a, uh, in my in my opinion, an underrated band from the '80s and stuff. But uh, yeah, let me see here. Right here, I have the Mamas and the Papas, California Dreamin', obviously with. All the leaves are brown. <laughs> and the sky is gray. <laughs> the sky is gray. And that's pretty much it. And the other one, Monday, Monday. But I haven't really listened to that song. It's so good to me. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's just another one as well. Made by MCA Records. There you go. Uh, right here, I have Judas Priest. And it's Prisoners of Pain. Featuring Breaking the Law. Hellbent for Leather, and Some Heads Are Gonna Roll, which are pretty good. My mom and aunt are 
big huge fans of this band but my favorite by them is you got another thing coming because it's the best one tape is very messed up this is from back in the 90s when we had this yeah and right here i have prince 1999 uh, featuring, of course, 1999 Little Red Corvette, probably one of the best songs he's known for. Delirious. Uh, the rest of them just never really listened to. I just only care for 1999, Let's Go Crazy, Little Red Corvette. Uh, that's pretty much it. Well, that's it for them. Now, I do have some more over here. Also, have um, right here, I have a tape of U2 which is October, but honestly, there's nothing on here that I know, because the only ones I know are with, Within, Without You, whatever the, that song is. Uh, and, Within, Without You. Yes, I, I get it mixed up, and uh, Beautiful Day as well, but that didn't come out till later. This one is from 1981. This is probably one of their early albums, so I am a fan of them. I just don't really listen to a, a whole lot of them, but they are good. Don't get me wrong. Then we've got James Brown, Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. This is obviously my pops because he's a fan of him and features Papa's Got a Brand New Bag, uh, Deep In It, Sex Machine, uh, Get Up Off Me. Yeah. Nothing with like, uh, I've Got You, I Feel Good, but yeah. And here I have Van Halen, Women and Children First. Nothing really a whole lot on here, just And the Cradle of Rock, Everybody Wants Some, Fools, Romeo Delight, Tora Tora. I don't even know any of these because I haven't listened to them. I do like Van Halen as well, but only cared for when they had the group, the original group, you know. Sammy Hagar, he was alright to me, but I just only care for the original members, in my opinion. Then we've got Foreigner, featuring... Uh, waiting for a girl like you, and I don't really know the rest. I mean, I like the other one. It feels like the first time, and cold as ice, which are good. But I don't think. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Exactly. Uh, what else I got? Uh, right here I have. Let me put these back in here. We already shown these. I just uh, don't get confused. Now, don't laugh at me at this or get. Mad at me or whatever, but the next one I have is The Village People. Yeah, featuring... This one just doesn't feature a whole lot on here. It just features uh, San Francisco, You've Got Me, and Side 2, Village People. Not that much big selection of songs. But I do, I do have another one of them, which is their greatest hits. Featuring, of course, The YMCA, Village People, Macho Man... Don't worry about my phone making that noise and not paying attention to it. San Francisco, You've Got Me. Then Side 2, In the Navy, another good song. Uh, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. If, can't go wrong with them. Now, alright, now we're done with them. Now we'll move on to the next one. Now, here's some recently new ones that I got at a Goodwill store because... These are good artists, and I figure I get it, because I don't want to see them sitting there, and I give them a good home. Here I have Mary Chapin Carpenter, Come On, Come On, featuring one of my favorite 90s songs when I was growing up as a kid called I Feel Lucky Today. If you haven't listened to it, listen to it, because it's good, and the lyrics are good. She's a good singer. Never seen her live before, but that's one of my favorite songs by her, and made by Columbia as well. But it was only like uh, a dollar for it because it's a cassette tape. Yeah. Then we've got Eddie Murphy, How Could It Be? And featuring the best, the well, the, the song he's known for, Party All the Time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, very good song as well, and a few others as well. And it's, uh, I have no idea what it's made by, but it's it's still good to listen to because it's, it's good. And last one that I purchased is Amy Grant, Heart in Motion, featuring, 
Oh, excuse me, something about my throat. Uh, featuring, uh-huh. featuring the song, <laughs> featuring Good For Me, which is a good one. Then the best song she's known for, Baby Baby, another great one. And Every Heartbeat, that's what love is for. My aunt is a huge fan of her, but I am as well because her music is very good. It says it was 47 cents, but it was really a dollar. And I had to get it just because she's great to listen to. Yep. Well, that's it for the ones that I have with the cases. Now let's move on to the ones without the cases. Right here. I forget. It. I'll, sh I'll show this one first just because this one is probably one of the best that I have. I don't know if it's on CD or whatever. I think it's on vinyl. But if they do, I will get it. And it is the Back to the Future soundtrack. Yeah. Featuring the best song by Huey Lewis in the news in the movie, The Power of Love. Great song. Uh, the Back to the Future theme performed by the Out of Time Orchestra. Heaven is One Step Away. Back in Time by Huey Lewis in the news. Then side two, you've got the Back to the Future Overture by the orchestra. The Wallflower Dance. And then you got Night Train performed by Marvin Berry and the Starlighters, I think it is. I, it's a little bit hard to read. And you got Earth Angel. Great song as well. And Johnny Be Good performed by Michael J. Fox's Marty McFly. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's very good. I'm, and I'm, I bought this a while ago at a, a flea market. I love the movies as well. Very good soundtrack too. Right here we no not not that one. Uh, all right, let's okay. Right here I have a uh, cassette tape of Aerosmith. This is Get a Grip, featuring the song Shut Up and Dance from the movie Wayne's World 2 as well, and that's what album is from. It's it's a good song, you know. It's not on their greatest hits or anything. It wasn't really a greatest hit, but it was. It is a pretty good song. Uh, it's from 1993, but can't go wrong with Aerosmith. Um, right here I have The Cars, the greatest hits of The Cars, featuring Just What I Needed, uh, another, the, one of my favorite songs by them called Drive, you know, who's going to drive you home tonight, who's going to pick you up when you fall or anything like that, uh, and of course uh, Shake It Up. Yep. Right here I have a cassette of Alice Cooper, one of his early albums called Constrictor, featuring Teenage Frankenstein and nothing really on the other one, just Teenage Frankenstein. It's from 1988 of MCA Records. I saw this guy live before in 2002, put on a great show. Yeah, he's a very good artist. Um, I do have another one of him, and it's right here, and it is Hey Stupid. Got this at a flea market a while ago, featuring, of course, Hey Stupid. Then side two, you've got Feed My Frankenstein, which he also performed in Wayne's World, and probably one of the best songs he's known for, but a few others as well. Uh, Poison, which is another good one from his album called Trash, which I think I have, but it is a pretty good song and album as well so right here I have the Beatles yellow submarine yep featuring of course yellow submarine all together now all together now all, together. <laughs> all you need is love and side two Lucy in the sky with diamonds and once again nothing to do with LSD even though it has letters in it, but it has nothing to do with it. Uh, Pepperland, medley of, medley sea of time and sea of holes. Yeah, never really listened to them, but just I do own the movie as well, but only own have the excuse me, the soundtrack on cassette. Yeah. It's, all right. Um. Here's um, one I have of Michael Jackson, and it's Bad. Who's Bad? I'm Bad. <laughs> Featuring Bad, The Way You Make Me Feel, Speed Demon, Liberian Girl, Just Good Friends, 
and side two, another part of me, man in the mirror. I just can't stop loving you, dirty Diana. Yep, so pretty good ones as well. Also have it on vinyl because it was only a dollar to flea market and I figure I get it. Here's another one that I have of him and this is history, past, present, and future, book one. I did have the other ones as well, but I only have this one because the other one features like Scream, a duet song he did with Janet Jackson and his version of Come Together. And I think You Are Not Alone. I think. But, uh, features all of his hits, including Billie Jean, The Way You Make Me Feel, Black or White, Rock With You, She's Out of My Life, and Wrestling I Mentioned, and of course Thriller, Beat It, Girl Is Mine, Remember the Time, Heal the World, Want to Be Starting Something. A lot of very good ones. <clears throat> Did have a CD of uh, history as well, but I don't anymore. Right here I have MC Hammer. Please Hammer, Don't Hurt Him. With a chorus feature in the song, Can't Touch This. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it was one of the most popular dances in the 1990s. And yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hang on a second. You know, message. Nope. I'll zip it, Tim Zuna. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Miss Whammy. Yeah. How dare you? How dare you? All right. Uh, here's a tape I have of the Ohio players. Uh, my pop likes these guys, and I do too, because this features the song "Fire," which is pretty good. And on the back, you have "Love Roller Coaster." Pretty good song. Uh, what's this? I have a cassette here of the Jimi Hendrix experience featuring a couple songs that I haven't really listened to. Ow. Hang on, so I gotta stretch a little bit. Alright, uh, some of these I don't really know on here, but on side two we have uh, Purple Haze and Foxy Lady. Pretty good songs he does. And there's a few others I haven't really listened to. What else we have? Uh, here we have a tape of Bad Company featuring uh, Can't Get Enough, uh, Feel Like Making Love, and my favorite song by them, Shooting Star. Very good song. Good song. Mm -hmm. And the song Bad Company as well, and a couple others too. I do like them. Some of these are a little bit hard to see because these have been around a while. Uh, here we have the best of KC and the Sunshine Band. Very good stuff. We got uh, Get Down, Get Down Tonight, I'm Your Boogeyman. My favorite, Shake, 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 shake Your Booty. <laughs> I love it. And that's the way I like it. Inside too, Keep It Coming Love, Boogie Shoes, and a few others too. I did see him in concert in 2001, along with the Village People. They put they both put on a great show, and even though they're disco or whatever, but you really there's no law that says to that you can't you can't hate disco or whatever. But I mean, yeah. There's another one of James Brown, the, his 20 all-time greatest hits feature, and I feel good. Uh, get up, I feel like a sex machine. Uh, I think it may have the night train on here. Yeah, it's on the other side. And a few others, too. Um, let's see. Oh, here's a good one. Here I have Metallica. The very first one of Metallica. The album the same name featuring Through the Never. Another great song. Nothing Else Matters. And on side one, we have Enter Sandman. Great song. By them as well, and a few others, too. The only cassette, though, I own a Metallica. But it is a very good one. And here's another heavy metal band. Quiet Riot. Metal Health. Featuring the song Metal Health, or if you want to call it, uh, you know, Bang uh -huh. Your Head. Metal Health will drive you bad. And Come uh -huh. On, Feel the Noise. Another, uh, good other, songs. Uh-huh. Very good. Listen to, I mean, uh, 
they're they were quite a heavy metal band back in the day but uh this one here is the soundtrack to the movie animal house of course starring john belushi uh uh, features like money. That's what I want. Uh, also has the song shout. A few others too. I've seen the movie before. I'm not really a huge fan of it, but I do like John Belushi. He was also on Saturday Night Live, but haven't really seen the movie that much. Um, let's see this here. Okay, this one I have right here. Now this one is a little bit scribbled out, but if you can see it, I hope you can. This is stick. Caught in yes. the act. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is pretty much uh, live versions of their songs like Mr. Roboto and Too Much Time on My Hands. Uh, we've had this for a while. So we've listened to this a lot. It still works. Just my, my pop and me would play this a lot because we do like the song Mr. Roboto and Too Much Time on My Hands. Uh, here I have a tape of Prince, which is uh, Prince's first album, though, but only featuring the good song, I Want to Be Your Lover, and that's it. And the rest of them are just so-so, but it was it's from 1979. It's from his early days. Just a few more left. Uh, next one I have is... I don't even know this one that much, so I'm just going to skip that. Uh... Here I have uh, Billy Idol featuring songs I mentioned on the other ones. Like we got Flesh for Fantasy, To Be a Lover, and Catch My Fall. But these are all mixes as well. But side one is really scribbled out and you can't even see anything. Okay, and uh, that's really it for that. Um, three left. Next one I have is Queen. A Night at the Opera, fe uh, featuring the best song by them, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yes, yes. Um, I'm sure there's a few others as well that are good on here, but I haven't really listened to them. Uh, but Bohemian Rhapsody is, of course, the best that they've ever done, and also from the movie Wayne's World as well. And speaking of that, I do own that, the Wayne's World soundtrack, featuring, of course, Bohemian Rhapsody. Then you got Dreamweaver. Uh, side two, you got the Wayne's World theme song by Wayne Garth, Ballroom Blitz by Tia Carey, Carey Rever, who played uh, Cassandra, you got Foxy Lady by Jimi Hendrix, Feed My Frankenstein, and a few other songs too. Great movie, great soundtrack as well. And the last one that I have is Kiss, Dress to Kill, the only Kiss album that I have on cassette because I just don't have that much. Hang on a sec. Just uh, a private message from someone. It's, it's alright. Uh, yeah. So, Dress to Kill by Kiss uh, just features uh, Come On and Love Me. Uh, and also features Rock and Roll All Night. Great song that they do. And a couple others too. But the best one is obviously Rock and Roll All Night. Because, yeah. But that's it. That is it for my music cassette collection. Hope you all enjoyed the ones I showed you with the cases and the ones without. No, it took a little bit of a while, but I had to go through a few of them just because you get my opinion, you know. But I hope you all enjoyed them. So, thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, please. And question of the day, because I know everybody does this. Uh, if you own a music cassette collection, if you do... What is your favorite music cassette that you have that you own? Again, if you have a music cassette collection, what's the best one that you have and that you own? So there you go. And that'll do it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe, please. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And I'll see you all with more videos. You all take care.